In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up scenes in OBS. YouTube Simplified. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. Live streaming on YouTube is an excellent way to grow your channel and OBS is a free tool that allows you to not only live stream but also improve the look and feel of what you're presenting to your viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS scenes, which allow you to create multiple views that you can share with your viewers. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you and you would like to learn exactly how OBS scenes work, stay tuned because that's coming up. All right, so we're in OBS now. Now, when you first open OBS, this is probably going to be what it looks like. One of the things that I recommend if you're gonna be doing live streams with OBS, in the lower right-hand corner, there's a button that says Studio Mode definitely want to spend most of your time in studio mode. This provides you with two different panels. The right one is the live panel that people on your live stream will see. And the one on the left is kind of a staging area where you can look at different scenes uh, without actually uh, making them visible during the live stream. So what you can do is if you want to transition between uh, different screens, you can actually put one here. And then when you're ready, you just uh, transition that from your staging area to live and it happens seamlessly uh, without missing a beat. So just wanted to let you know about that. The other thing, one of the common mistakes a lot of people make with uh, OBS is this guy down here, the mic. Uh, a lot of times you'll have people that come on their live streams and you can't hear them. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that uh, first that the volume is not muted like this. Because if it's muted, nobody's going to hear you. The other thing you want to do is click in settings, go into properties, and make sure that the device you're using for your mic is the one that's selected. Because if you're using uh, your headphones and the built-in mic, but you have a separate mic that's set up in here, then nobody's going to hear anything you're saying. So you definitely want to make sure that that is set up the way uh, that uh, it should be, and people are actually going to hear you during the live stream. All right, so back to scenes. So... Uh, we are going to just gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna create a new scene. I'll call, yeah, we'll let it. You can call it anything you want. We'll leave it as scene two. Now, probably the first thing you're going to do. So a scene is basically, you know, think of this whole space as a scene. Uh, the entire presentation that's going to be visible during the live stream when you transition it over to the right. Uh, within that scene, you have multiple sources, different elements that are going to build the look and feel of your live stream uh, that goes out there. So as you can see, you have a, a selection of scenes and we've just created a new one. So now we have to add sources. Probably the most common source you're going to add is video capture device. That is your actual webcam or whatever other camera you may be using to uh, get what you're going to be presenting to people on your live stream. So we're going to click on video capture device. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm going to call this one Logitech because that is uh, what kind of webcam I'm using. And as you can see, when you click that, it brings up your uh, webcam. Now, if you're not seeing the live video view from your webcam in this window, there's a chance that something might not quite be right. So you want to make sure that that happens. Uh, you also have the option to do any tweaks and settings. I'm going to leave these all the way they are for now. Uh, and then we can go ahead and click OK. So uh, as you can see, it pops up this source. Each one of the items in this list is a source. Uh, it pops it up in here. And as you can see, by default, it's kind of small. But you can actually um, drag if you click in the corner. You can actually resize these. And what you can do is drag it till it fits the whole window and then maybe tweak it so you are actually uh, in view. Okay, so one of the things you might want to do is change what is in or what is visible in your uh, view from your webcam. One of the ways that you can do this, you'll notice that around the edge of the image, you have these little red uh, lines. The red lines represent the absolute edge of the uh, whatever's being captured. Now, if we hold down the Alt key and we click on one of them and drag it, you'll see it turns green. Green means that that edge has been uh, cropped in some way. So what you can do is you could take an image like this and you can hold down your Alt key and click on the middle thing, uh, the middle circle there and crop the bottom a little bit, maybe crop the top and maybe we wanna bring the side in a little bit. 
And then once you take your finger off the Alt key and then you go to the side, you're going to resize based on those new uh, borders that you've given it. Now you can always go into these and click Alt and go back. If you don't press Alt though, uh, it's going to resize. So you definitely uh, need to press the Alt to actually crop the image. And it's not a permanent crop, it's just for display purposes. So now that we have this shape, we could actually stretch this out and make the entire thing fit in here. Uh, I have kind of a tight angle here, so we might come up with a different, uh, some additional things to add to our scene. Uh, one of the things people commonly add to the live stream scene is the live stream comments, and I'll show you exactly how that works. All right, so you see a lot of people who add their uh, live comments to the live stream and perhaps that's something that you want to do there's a, a pretty uh, straightforward easy way to do this uh, uh, you know there's definitely some additional things you can do to it in terms of formatting and whatnot but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to show you exactly how that part works uh, so what we would actually do in that case is if you open up your live stream uh, setup and you'll notice on the right hand side you have your live chat now this is the way that i typically do it i found it just to be easier that way if you click over here and uh, it says pop out chat and what that does is it makes the chat its own window so when we come back into obs and we add a new scene one of the options is window capture now in this case we're going to do chat comments if I could actually uh, chat comments, I'm gonna put a space in there. All right, and then we are uh, then going to be given an option of open windows to select from. And normally the one that you've just opened is going to be at the top. In that case, it is the chat um, window that we created. And you'll see over here that now we have a window with the chat in it. Now we just wanna, we're gonna click okay. We wanna clean that up a little bit. We maybe don't wanna show the header and everything to people. Uh, one of the other things you might wanna do is get it to fit better in the available space that you have here. Uh, so one of the ways that uh, I have found that that, that works pretty well um, is if you pop, bring that chat open, we'll bring it over here. And then it, as you resize this window, you'll see that the it resizes on the screen as well. And we're trying to find a good a good shape for it to fit in our in our window. So what we can do is we'll drag it up here a little bit. We'll make it a little bit bigger. I usually take my name out of it, and I want the the uh, URL out of it as well. So we'll stretch that a little bit just so that's hidden. And just so my name is hidden, but we get all the chat content. All right, so we can put live chat right there and then make sure everything looks good there. So what happens is when you go live and people start chatting uh, and then people watch the playback, you're going to be able to see uh, the conversation from both sides, which is kind of a nice thing because uh, if you've ever watched a live stream replay where somebody's interacting with the comments and you can't see the comments, it, it kind of loses something and uh, that may hurt your audience retention. There's a couple different options in here. Like I said, images are pretty straightforward. You're going to browse to an image. Same capabilities of resizing it and cropping it. Um, also, uh, text. I mentioned text. Let's take a look at the uh, text to do a scrolling marquee. We're going to do this text scrolls. And it's in white. Now, once you've added text, and this is actually to on a, a different scene, and we go in to filters. Now, filters are where you can apply a, a number of different things to your sources. So, uh, in text filters, we'll click on add, and then there's a scroll option. We'll leave it, it can be called scroll. And then there's a speed here. And as you can see, a couple things you'll notice. This is how, how, you know, how the scroll works. So we're gonna make that a little bit slower so people can read it. And then we have to fix a couple things based on how we see now that it works. So we hit close and there's our scrolling marquee and that can be anything. So when you go in here and you click 
properties, that's where you're going to be able to edit the actual text. But the one thing I want you to notice on this scroll is you'll see where the, the scroll text ends, this text scrolls, it immediately starts over with the beginning of your message. So you want to make sure that you build in a little breathing room there after that and you can do it with a cup with some spaces. So if we come in here and we put in a bunch of spaces, then it's a little less cluttered and it's much more palatable for people to watch. So that's how you can do that. And you can apply that to the bottom. You can even, what we can do here is we transition back to our other one and you'll see that it moved the one that was staging to the right. So that would have gone live. Uh, but what we can do here is if we wanted to take our image and maybe we want to move that up. The good thing about sources is once you've created one, they're available, they're saved and you can add them to uh, other scenes. So now that we're back on our original scene, we can go in here and add a text source. You'll see that add existing is down here and you simply click on the one you already created and that's going to bring it to our window. And then we can take it, we can resize it for these particular needs, like so. And we can create ourselves a scrolling text. All right, so the one last thing I wanna show you is how to add graphics to the screen. In this case, we're going to head into sources and click on the plus and go to image. Uh, image, we're gonna call this border because we're gonna try to put a little bit of a border on here, make it look a little cleaner. Uh, just something basic so it pops up that window and it asks you to browse to the actual image that you want to do in this case I'm just going to use a PNG with the center removed uh, just to create a nice neat little frame around all this and click open looks pretty good we'll hit OK and then we take a look here now we just want to clean this up a little bit now the one thing that you'll see is we're not seeing the text and that's because the uh, these are layered um, in the order that they appear in the sources window. So what you actually want to do is drag that border or that scrolling marquee up over the border. So now we have a nice clean display. The one thing I might do is click on, uh, we want comments probably above Logitech here to make sure they appear good. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe our thing is tweaked a little bit here. They seem a little wide. We want to get those nice and framed up. Oops. We want to actually click on the actual comments. There we go. And position them nicely in the window. And there you have it. So we have in this video, we have gone through and added uh, the live chat, live comments. We've also showed you how to do the video capture. So your uh, webcam is displayed on your live stream we looked into creating text and scrolling marquee text uh, and now we've just created a border that we can throw on there just to clean everything up give it a little bit cleaner look uh, and you know there's so much more you can do uh, with that I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to continue to receive notifications about videos that help simplify YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've clicked that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.